Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am currently prepping for baby and if you guys are watching this, that means baby is pretty much here. I know I said the next vlog that I was gonna do was gonna be the birth vlog, but I wanted to sneak this video in because I had time, I'm still pregnant. So I figured why not show you guys what's in my hospital bag. But before I get into the video, something came in the mail that couldn't have come at better timing, especially being a mom of a newborn again. We just recently received this water drop filter water dispenser. It is a water dispenser that dispenses hot and cold water. This water dispenser was so easy to set up. It has a step-by-step -step instructions on how to unbox it. It has a manual as well. You can have pure cold water in one second. It has six temperature options ranging from 41 degrees all the way up to 203 degrees Fahrenheit. It has five standard cup volumes so you can cater your water preferences to your needs. It has a six stage filtration so you're making sure you get the perfect filtered water. And if you press the screen, you're able to see the stats of the two filters and what the lifespan is left on each of them. It has a two to one low drain ratio. The water cooler completely separates feed water from wastewater. It also has a child lock for your little ones, which we know we all need. I love that it has a child lock because the kids can't mess with it. So nice because the holidays are coming around the corner and it is hot cocoa season. The kids absolutely love hot chocolate and the fact that I can dispense hot water right here is so convenient, so convenient for tea. I'm about to have newborn have lack of sleep and I've always struggled when I'm overtired going to sleep and the fact that I'm able to get sleepy time tea Another thing that's so nice because I exclusively breastfeed is the fact that I can dispense hot water right then and there on demand in order to defrost my breast milk if I need to feed the baby a bottle or Steven needs to feed a baby a bottle. It is so convenient. It can dispense four ounces, eight ounces, 16 ounces, 20 ounces, or max. I love knowing how many ounces I have and this shows that. I love the sleek design and I also love that this is like a little water catcher but if you have like a taller cup, you can just magnetize it off or on You can choose how much water so it's either four ounces eight ounces 16 ounces 20 ounces or max i love that you can just choose how much water you want so that you can set your cup there and walk away do other things and then come back you don't have to sit there and press it onto the fridge i can grab a mug if i want to do hot tea and i can do hot water Let's do the hottest and let's do eight ounces. And then you press the middle button and it will dispense it. And there it goes. I'm not sure if you guys can see the steam coming off, but this is just so nice for hot cocoa teas like I mentioned. So if you guys want a link to this, I'm gonna put it down in the description. You can check it out. And now let's see what's in my hospital bag. Welcome back to my channel. So I did mention last video that that was going to be my last vlog before the birth vlog But here I am. This is one of the videos that I've been wanting to squeeze in before I gave birth So I'm like still pregnant. So I'm like, let me just squeeze it in before the birth vlog I have never done one of these videos and I've always wanted to so by the time you're watching this I have most likely already had my baby which is crazy to say. Oh my gosh I'm so excited to let you guys know it is November 16th and I just got back from my OB appointment and I am four centimeters 70% effaced so he literally is so close to coming I feel it in my heart I feel it in my gut and by the time you guys watch the video he's already here which is crazy I'll be 40 weeks on in two days so I almost made it full term which I did not expect like how am I essentially gonna give birth to him full term I for sure thought he would come early but he's chilling he likes being safe inside my belly which I'm okay with but without further ado, let's get into this video. So we like to pack in a suitcase. I know so many people who pack in a duffel bag and then their husband has another duffel bag and then they have like another bag of miscellaneous stuff. And I am just, I, I'm not about that. I don't want to carry anything. Well, first of all, I don't carry anything. Steven does, but I hate having like multiple stuff. I love consolidating and so does he. So we just bring one suitcase, everything fits in there and that's it. And Steven just has a backpack for when we go into the hospital um, to have like phone chargers and laptop like snacks and stuff like that and then once we get into the postpartum unit all he has to do is go get the suitcase from the car this is the first time I got packing cubes and it is life-changing it is worth the hype I don't know how I've ever packed without packing cubes it makes things so simple so easy I'll start with my packing cube this one's mine as the babies and years go on this is my third baby I pack less and less because you just realize you really don't need much but first thing I want to pack is this skims robe um it is the softest robe ever essentially like when i get into the postpartum unit i'm gonna like shower and 
this is what I'm gonna put on and with a nursing bra and depends which is like the adult diaper essentially and this is pretty much what I'm gonna live in so I do have another one right here um, but I personally love 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 wearing robes I don't bring any PJ sets or two-piece sets because they have to check your down there and you're nursing so robes are so simple because you can nurse and you can just lift up i would hate to like have to take my pants on and off the robes are just game changer and then i'm gonna bring three nursing bras um so when i shower and i want to put a robe on i'm just gonna put on a nursing bras these are my favorite 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 nursing bras they are the brand auden you can get them at target and they are just like the softest things you can just like move it to the side i don't like to deal with any clips and you just feel like you're wearing nothing so these are my favorite nursing bras so that's what i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring three of them i'm gonna bring a going home outfit and that's pretty much it um with brinley i had to stay two nights but i feel like ever since covid um with rowan and everyone else you really only stay 24 hours now in the hospital it's rare to stay in um for two nights unless you have a c-section or there's complications or whatever but if you have like an overall healthy delivery and everything they most likely will let you go i mean my hospital at least i can't speak for everyone else but so really i just need to like have a robe or two after like delivering and then the going home outfit and that's it i'm gonna bring this as my going home outfit just the comfiest it's like a free people dupe from amazon it's like a set people like wear wearing loose things after you give birth but i love things to be like compressed and tight because you're like bleeding down there and the thought of things being loose like oh i do not like that feeling so i personally just like having things tight fitted to my bottom half and then loose oversized on the top half so you don't see any panty lines or anything like that the matching one is this completely oversized um v-neck shirt so that is all i'm packing just a few robes few nursing bras and a going home outfit and that's always what i end up using i do not want to overpack. i'm so over that i am going to bring two pairs of socks just to have and then i am going to bring depends because i do not like the mesh underwear it's not tight enough it feels like it slips around you have two moving parts because you have the pad and the mesh i don't like that um i know the hospital provides it but i much rather have depends they are just like the best thing ever so i did forget i am gonna bring this which i never did it's not necessary it's the mom frida little thingy that you have to like wipe yourself and like wash yourself the hospital does provide it but the angle of this makes things so much easier so i think i'm gonna be extra and bring my own moving on is steven's little cube i am the wife that packs for their husbands i know um some wives do it some wives don't i love packing for steven i'm just gonna bring him a little crew neck just to have um to put over and he's also gonna bring a hoodie for his backpack um just because hospitals can be cold his going home outfit which is like a dry fit shirt with um basketball shorts and then he has an outfit for when we get moved up to postpartum which is a t-shirt and basketball shorts and that's literally it that's all he has um he can wear because again we're only staying one night so i may pack him like like one more pajama ish type of thing because you never know if something can go wrong i'd rather him be prepared than have to come back home and get another outfit he's just gonna have three basketball shorts with three cotton shirts um a hoodie a crew neck and some boxers and that's pretty much it for clothes for steven and i'm also gonna pack him a hat just in case he's having a bad hair day or whatever, he can just throw on a baseball hat and call it a day. Okay, and for baby, this is really the reason why you probably came into the video because it's the best part of the video is seeing what I packed for the baby. So by the time you've seen this video, we've most likely announced him and announced the name. So I'm gonna show this and then if we didn't have it announced him, then I'm just gonna cut this part out. But first thing is the his name sign. If you guys didn't know, his name is gonna be Atlas Reed. I am literally obsessed with his name. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but Steve and I are so obsessed. It just makes so much sense. There's so many reasonings and meanings behind his name. I cannot wait to share with you guys in a separate video. But I got this nameplate off of Etsy. I wanted something a little bit different than the other two kids and something unique. And then I got the cutest little newborn beanie. I'm obsessed. You usually keep them in hats, and I wanted to get him a beanie. I did not want to have a hat on him and i got this one off of spearmint baby 
and it is so tiny and so precious so this is what he's gonna wear in his announcement photo and his coming home outfit and all that and then I really wanted to get him the Ceremony mini receiving blanket but they kept getting out of stock and so I saw this one um, on Spearmint Baby and I just thought it was adorable I feel like this is so underrated to have a mini blanket for your baby it's like not super massive um, for the car seats and it like you can roll them up in it and it's not like excess fabric I highly recommend buying your baby a mini bamboo receiving blanket and it can be like the little baby blanket it's just like the perfect size for them and then um, for like a swaddle slash like like announcement photo I'm bringing this uh, this one is mushy the brand mushy co and it's just like super pretty and gender neutral something that I am going to bring that I was just talking to my friend Ariana about this I'm like how do we not do this with our first few kids it's like you are just think to just use the swaddle that they give you or like a blanket and I'm like oh my gosh you like if you're a first time mom bring a like zipper or velcro swaddle you do not have to learn how to swaddle with a blanket there are so many other better easier swaddles I don't know how I didn't do this with my first two it is just a velcro swaddle and then this one has a zipper on the bottom um and so if I need to change his diaper I can just unzip the bottom change his diaper and zip it back up and I don't have to fully unswaddle him um, this one's from Amazon. It's the brand Comfy Cubs on Amazon. And then for his coming home outfit, I have this little onesie. It's from Loved Baby. This used to be Brinley's and Rowan I don't think ever wore it. But it's just this plain white onesie and then he's going to wear the beanie. So that's going to be his little coming home outfit. While we're in the hospital for regular outfits, I just have this little um, onesie which used to be Rowan's. And then... I got him this little long sleeve sleeping gown. And then I am gonna bring um, a pair of socks just to have, one binky just to have, this one's like brand new, I haven't used it, and then one extra hat just to have. And then another thing to bring is um, a nail file. I feel like that is so underrated and I did that with Brinley and Rowan, I'm so glad I did because when your baby's born, they tend to have long nails and then they scratch themselves. Um, I'm definitely gonna pack that and that's pretty much it for the baby. So that is everything clothes-wise that I packed. Um, aside from that, what I did pack is a blanket. I never packed this for Steven. That's again something that I learned the first few times. I, we have room for a pillow potentially too because he's like a pillow guy. I am not. I can literally sleep with any type of pillow. I'm gonna bring my toiletry bag which is literally just gonna be makeup wipes, concealer, beauty blender, like deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, I'm not gonna bring any perfume or anything, a hairbrush, and that's it. My hair is gonna be already be done, so I'm not planning on washing it, but I did bring shampoo and conditioner travel size just in case, and lotion and chapstick. And that is literally everything I brought for the toiletry bag, but I do plan on showering. I also brought a, a bar of soap and I'm wearing my Birkenstocks which are waterproof so those would be like my shower shoes if you will so this is Steven's backpack that we are bringing what I have in here is my airpods and some chapstick and Steven's gonna bring his airpods as well and I have two extra camera batteries um, that are fully charged in here I have a Celsius for Steven I packed him a Celsius so that um, if it happens in the middle of the night like he has like caffeine that he can have inside I packed him one hoodie I have a portable fan which I have never brought to the hospital but I've heard great things about bringing a portable fan you can like this one you can like you know like tie on the hospital bed and then something that we did for Rowan but not Brinley's is a portable sound machine it blocks out all the noise of the hospital the people in the hallway the machines and it just like obviously gets your baby used to sleeping well and I feel like you just fall in a deeper sleep when you have um, a sound machine in the room so I have a list on my phone and the only other things that I need to add to the backpack and toiletry bag um, is glasses for Steven, a hat for Steven, phone chargers, pillow for Steven, oh my Stanley, um, Steven's AirPods, and um, a charger for the Apple Watches. Besides that, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I cannot believe promise you the next video that you watch is going to be the birth vlog and by this point if you follow me on instagram i'm going to have my handle right here um you probably would get more up to date um updates and you probably would see the baby and um see all that so don't forget to check out the water drop water system down in the description box and i will see you in my next video bye, bye.